So today is Friday the 7th and I am on the way to Jerusalem. You guys have no idea how hard it is to selfie a video with a D800 with a big ass 20 millimeter lens on. So I'm at Boston Airport right now. I'm about to hop on this flight. Interesting event that just took place was on Wednesday. Trump finally officialized the whole new capital thing of Israel is now Jerusalem. That's official. And so apparently right after he did that, there were riots everywhere all across the city of Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. And I am on the plane to that exact same spot. I'm pretty sure these people over here, these drummers and whatnot are Brazilian. It looks like their clothing has the Brazilian flag on it. This is the real life struggle of traveling. So in 2015, when I went on my first Euro trip, I took my camera with me, my laptop, all my equipment and gear. And it became more of a photography trip than anything else. And it kind of ruined the trip. It changed it a little bit and I didn't really like that. So in 2016, when I went back to Europe, I didn't bring my computer or any of my equipment. This time though, in Jerusalem, I'm bringing it with. I didn't check luggage. I took a small bag, you know, just barely enough clothes and then two lenses my camera and my laptop so i'm gonna try and make some videos we're gonna see how it goes <laughs> do you want to come in on sunday and go to work <laughs> no so the mission right now is to find a seat next to an outlet so i can charge my phone my computer my camera batteries and my backup battery charger got him these are some of the smaller but also very important things that you need on a trip like this. Headphones, battery backup. This is an outlet converter. Something else that's important is a flash drive. And the reason I have this is because I put a ton of movies onto this in preparation for waiting around at airports like this. Hello, I got my boarding pass here. Ah, passport. Yep. One of the most important tips to get through airport security quickly is to dress very lightly. Don't wear a belt, don't wear big boots, things like that. Yay, freedom. Yay, liberty. Most useless fucks in the world. Free Wi-Fi at Logan Airport. And then check this shit out. You click on it, and it doesn't fucking connect. Who would have guessed? This is the same airport I flew out of in 2016 to go to Europe, and it feels like yesterday I was just here. Only $38 for all that? Without tax. Without tax? With tax, 42 One more? Uh, no, nah, that's good. Huh? That's good. Are you sure? That's perfect. Uh, I'm sure. I, I'm positive. I'm, I'm positive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Overall, this wasn't actually bad. This was only $14.20. Got some chicken in there and a bottle of water. The flight was delayed at least a half an hour. I'm hoping to sneak into first class because it's about 10 times better than not first class. But what happens is if you get on and you're one of the first people and then somebody else tries to get in your seat, took some of the seat on your fuck. So you have to wait until the very end. So I put all that effort into trying to sneak in first class and there is no first class. Amazing. No. Alright, so here's the thing. On the plane, my seat is all the way at the fucking back and they're extremely cramped. So I'm gonna try and sneak into this seat right here because I got all this leg room. Dear guests, welcome. The flight attendant just came by and started questioning me and asked me if this is my seat. And I just said yes. And then she gave me the rules about how to sit in this particular seat. There's still about 15 more people trying to find their seats. It looks like I got away with it. Look at all this space for activities. Finally off that motherfucking plane. Good old fashioned Iceland airport. I've been here probably four or five times total now. Right now in Connecticut, it is 12.09. However, here in Iceland right now, it's about five in the morning. So from here, I catch my other flight and it's seven hours from here to Israel. Thank you. How was your experience through border control? Somebody try to pronounce this one. Right? What in the fuck does that even say? 
This is a coffee cup in Iceland. See how small that is? In America, this would be about three times the size of that. All right, a cup of coffee, two cookies, and a fucking croissant with ham and cheese is $18. The most annoying thing is paying for expensive bullshit. This tiny ass little cup of coffee here, this is $5. Can't believe that. I catch this flight, it leaves in about an hour, and I'm fucking dead right now. So we'll see how this goes. Getting out of this plane, about to try this whole sneaking in the uh, extra leg room seat again. On the plane to Tel Aviv right now, and it is currently 3:30 in the morning. And I can't die. So tired. Nigga, we made it. We're landing right now. I what do you have in mind? I can't tell if it's morning or night. Excuse me. You don't take pictures. You have to the passport no. control. Why are you coming to Israel? Man, the ticket was dirt cheap. See all that cool stuff, Dead Sea, Masada. You by yourself? Yep, just me. Huh? Just me. That's it. You always travel by yourself? 100% of the time. What do you do? I'm an EMT. Huh? Ambulance driver. So, have you been here before? Never. How, how do you know about Masada? Google. You just Google any name? Pretty much. Well, what do you mean? I googled things to see. No, but how do you know about Masada specifically, the world? Google. How it's did you Google it if you don't know the world? Oh, I googled things to see in Israel. Masada uh, popped up. You only came because of the cheap ticket? Uh, well, and I wanted to see things like the Dead Sea, Jerusalem, the Wailing Wall. You, you thought about this before or it just came like... I bought it kind of on a whim. I don't... I didn't really put that much thought into it, some. Well, is there something wrong or...? No, I'm just curious. Oh. It's spontaneous. You, you kind woke of. up in the morning and said, I'll go. No, no, no. I bought it like two months ago. Uh. I, I bought the ticket probably two months ago. In like October, I think. How long are you going to stay here? Nine days. To the 17th. I think that's enough time, right? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to you? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That dude was so confused about why I was here. I honestly thought something was going on as to why he was questioning me. I thought I did something. The dude just did not understand why I came to Israel. I tried explaining to him and he thought, but I don't understand. Why would you come here? Dude, just to fucking go, bro. There's nothing to this. One of the most important things to do while traveling is to get Wi-Fi. So the next thing to do right now is to find out how the fuck to get from here to where I'm staying in Tel Aviv, which is about 20 minutes away. This ain't going so well so far. Look, look, um, run over to those uh, buses, see if any of them go to Tel Aviv. Yeah. And, uh, you can go around this way. So apparently there are no buses, only taxis. I got this guy over here from Pittsburgh helping me out now. Yo, what's up, Pittsburgh? Thanks, Adam. Faberchili, so let's say, uh, Lot Street. Rock, Rock, uh, Faberchili. Oh, Rock, 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 Compared to what you want under the one fifty. One fifty. On the way to where I'm staying, hopefully I get there. I'm not exactly sure if uh, this guy has the same address that I have, but we'll see. All right. So right before I left the airport, when I was connected to the Wi-Fi, I synced up the directions and I synced up the map as well. So it appears as though we're going in the right direction. getting closer. Holy oh, shit. Man. I made it. Okay. Damn. How much do I owe you? 150 shekels. 150 shekels. No, I thought you worked here as well. Gotcha, gotcha. You're from Jerusalem as well, or yeah. Israel as well. Uh, Germany, actually. Oh, you're German? Yes. Spesh yes. Deutsch. Who comes to there? Aus Hamburg. Aus Hamburg? And you? Uh, aus New York, but Spesh Deutsch. Oh. Spesh ein bisschen Deutsch. Yeah, but very good. Thank you. Why have you been to Jerusalem? Well, Varun comes to in it's a Tel Aviv, not Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv. Yes. Oh, sorry. It's, it's, in America, we just know it as Jerusalem or Israel, but okay. it's, it's the same thing to me. I've never been here, so okay. I just know it. But that was interesting. Random woman staying here in Germany, and we both speak German. And she said my German is very good. 
So this is where I'm staying. <laughs> One of the most important parts about a trip like this is to keep the cost of it as low as possible. And unfortunately, there were no trains, no buses into Tel Aviv because it's Saturday night. It ended up costing me $42 just to get to my room, which is a lot more money than what I wanted to spend.